Hello everybody, welcome back to another retro recap. Today I'm going to be going over the game Popeye for made for the 2600, Atari 2600. The game was made by Parker Brothers back in 3. Um, this game is a lot of fun and I highly recommend it, uh, checking it out. I got the mastery on this in a little under 4 hours. This game has 16 achievements total on retro achievements. Ratio is at a 5.50 um, right now. That might go up or down. Um, but it is a difficult game, but if this set is actually really, really good. It's got a good amount of difficulty, a good amount of challenge. Um, I don't think you'll have any problem completing the set if you follow some twit tips and tricks that I'm gonna give you along the way. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and play my 60,000K run um, right now and we'll just kind of go through the gameplay of the game and talk about it a little bit and how you can get all these achievements for this and get your mastery so I'm gonna go ahead and start this up and to start out if you don't know Popeye is a character that was developed back in 1929 um, actually a long long time ago um, some people might not know who Popeye is um, but he is a sailor and he was developed originally, he took some feathers and apparently from a hen and rubbed them and then became powerful and was able to take 15 bullet shots originally. Um, obviously they changed that now. His new power is that if you grab spinach, um, you get strength and endurance from spinach and then you, apparently you can beat up people with it. Um, like Bluto, Bluto is a guy that is kind of a bully that's looking to steal your girl. He's in love with Olive and you're in love with Olive. So the point here is you're trying to get hearts from Olive that she's dropping from the top of the screen and get those before they fall within the sea, which is down at the bottom. Um, really kind of an interesting gameplay mechanic and it's really unique, which I like. A lot. I think this gameplay was a lot of fun. I think the scoring is done really well. Um, so it's definitely a game worth checking out if you haven't tried this one. So what you're going to do here is on the first board, you're just going to try to grab the hearts. Every time you grab a heart, you're going to see that a dot comes from one side of the screen. That dot is representative of a bottle um, that's being thrown at you from the sea hag that's apparently off the side of the screen. That's another character that they have as a sea hag in this game. Um, her version is a little bit different in other games. She usually throws skulls from the top of the screen and then, you know, uh, you get hit by skulls that slowly come down. But in this version, she's supposed to be off screen and every time you grab a heart, she's throwing a bottle at you. So Bluto can also throw bottles at you too. He can throw up to three bottles at a time. Um, anytime there's a bottle being thrown on a level, this is kind of like an Atari tip here. Um, I've had a lot, I played a lot of Atari games and I noticed that whenever there's some kind of um, item that's gonna kill you on one part of a level, they that usually they don't do it on another part of the level. So like right now he's throwing the bottles at me. Um, and if I were to grab these notes, which in this level, she's dropping notes down. If you grab these um, notes while he's throwing the bottles, um, there won't be a bottle thrown at you. So like there, there was a bottle thrown at me. I grabbed the note, but that bottom level, I didn't get a, a note thrown at me there either. Um, so the bottom levels don't usually throw notes, but sometimes they can just, just be careful there. Um, you can see when the note hits the bottom of the, the C there, you have to get it before it, it'll start flashing and you'll have to get it before it'll kill you over. If you wait too long, it'll kill you. That's the spinach, the little flashy thing I just grabbed there is spinach. If you grab that, you turn into your you know, like super self, um, you're immune. Uh, it stops everything on the board. It gets rid of all the bottles being thrown um, and you can run around and just basically hit Bluto knock him on his ass and get 3000 points when you do that. So definitely recommend doing that on every level, um, especially if you're going for the 60K achievement here. Um, for this particular board, I try to stay at the top on the right or the left here. Um, when the notes fall down, you can see that the bottle flies at me. I grab that note, she kind of goes to the other side. Um, I grab this note and there I got hit by him because he jumped up, but try not to do that. Um, most of the time you can get in a rhythm on this board that if you stay at the top here, you can grab that note like there I did it with my toe. Like you can kind of stick your toe out there and grab a note with that. And then I go to the other side and then go immediately back to the other side. 
but stay at the top because see when he starts throwing bottles at you then he's kind of stuck there he's not moving to the side um, so you want him moving to where you're at and then going up grabbing a note going to the other side when he starts walking over and you can kind of just do this on this level back and forth um, now you're also grabbing the notes the higher you're grabbing the notes the more sport score you're getting so if you're at the top level there i'm going to be getting like 500 um, per note you also get 100 if you hit each bottle so that's the bottles are worth points too so they're really hard to hit that's probably where the most difficulty is in this game is that those bottles will come at you and you basically have like one punch um, you can't spam your your button at all. You have to basically time your punches perfectly to hit those bottles, and you'll get in the rhythm of that as you go. So you'll you'll just keep doing that and timing your punches and making sure you're hitting the bottles correctly. So this is a third board. Um, you can see we're at about twenty thousand now. Um, same thing. She's dropping kisses. You're supposed to be on a ship. Um, and with he turns into Simbad the sailor, I guess apparently when he's on the ship or something like that and not uh Pluto anyways and so they she's dropping kisses you hit a bottle this for this whole level pretty much the first part of this level you can just stay at the top and there's like a uh, treadmill that's at the top that you can run across there that's not gaps there um the bottom levels the two levels below that that look like they're flashing they look like they have treadmills on them they don't have treadmills on them. you will fall through the floors on those so the only one that's got the treadmill on it is the top level so you want to go go back and forth, keep grabbing her as quickly like that. Those things fall very, very fast. So if you miss one, um, you're going to be stuck kind of running down to the bottom. So what I found is you just kind of go back and forth, stay with her. And then when she throws, she's always going to throw to the direction that she's facing. And when she does that, you grab it, you hit the bottle when you need to, and you just keep doing this. He'll eventually come up to that next level right there. And then when, he, when I do that, when he does that, I usually go down and I'll go grab the spinach and at least get my 3,000 points that way. There I kind of waited a little bit for the kiss to come down so I could just grab it easier. And then I'll just run right back up to the top again and kind of rinse that again and redo it and start that whole process over again. He will come up a little bit faster this time though, especially on the sixth wave, he'll come up a lot faster. Um, but as long as you do that, you should be able to get all the kisses here this there's an achievement for not dying on every wave uh, obviously i thought this one was the hardest just because you have to get to third wave but the nice thing about these achievements in this set the set is really really done well it's got a lot of challenging achievements and you're going to feel like you actually just like mastered the game when you're with it because you're gonna be like there's nothing too grindy here you only have to play through like six levels um, to get the 60k done and the no death achievements are easy because well they're not easy but um, they're easier because they're per level, so you only have to focus on not dying for that level, and you can kind of do that while you're playing, which I really, really like. I like that versus the achievements where you have to, like, not die for the entire freaking game, and, uh, you know, you can blow a, you know, 20, 30-minute run um, just on the deathless achievement, and then you have to start the whole run over again. I really, <laughs> those things drive me nuts. So I think these were done really well. Um there's achievements for not for catching all the hearts before they hit the water a uh, little tip that i have for you for that also by the way we've looped over there's only three boards this is the second loop um second loop just fyi the bottles come ridiculously fast like way faster than the first level you have to actually learn to punch them um and they'll be coming much much quicker <laughs> when i got this level i was just expecting the same kind of speed the first time and they just came and hit me and i was just like whoa what just happened like it's crazy but um you don't want to get or you want to get all the hearts before they hit the water um, for the achievement what i suggest doing for that is if you say you are going specifically for that achievement then and one is getting near the water then you can actually just kill yourself you can run into bluto um, you can use the spinach to stop it obviously and go grab it um, but if it's getting really low and you want to make sure you get the achievement, um, go ahead and kill yourself. That will reset the hearts back at the top. So you can basically restart the level again. Um, and then if you do that, you can use up all your, you know, your guys, but you can make sure you're getting all hearts and notes and kisses for that achievement. So, um, what other tips I got here? 
stay at the top as much as possible. You'll get the most points on the top level. Um, Pluto's kind of annoying, especially on the second wave. He'll throw his bottles extremely fast. And he throws three of them like right there. And unless you're hitting those spot on, like I see I hit two of those and I didn't hit the third one. And it resulted in my death. So um, I advise just staying as far away from him on the second playthrough as you can. Just stay on a completely different level. And don't even get into that situation where he's throwing bottles at you. And you have to protect yourself um, by punching. For the, um, let's see like right here again. That time I actually, you know, blocked it. But you have to get that timing down if you're going to want to be able to get 60,000. At this point, I think I was just kind of playing through and I'm like, ah, I got one guy. I don't think I'm going to get to 60,000, but I'm just going to see if I do. So don't ever give up. You know, it's it's nice thing about these games is you can make a comeback and have a good run um, on a couple boards and then end up coming back and winning for the achievement. But here I'm just going back and forth like I did on the first sequence. Um, Going from side to side, letting him come over, going up to the top, and she throws it to me. So, as long as you're doing that, you should be getting about 500 points per part or per note on this board, um, plus the additional 100, because those things are coming super fast on this one. Don't neglect the bottles and try to run off screen. They will hit you in the back. They're just too fast at this uh, level. So, I just advise you to just grab it and, well, there you can fall off the ledge like that in a it, but definitely don't try to run off the screen with it because you won't make it here just run back down and I just go back up on the trampoline to kind of confuse him and get him out of the way so I can grab that note and go back up again as long as you stay up top you're gonna be good if you stay down too long like there it was a little too long that was kind of a little dicey there um, he started throwing his bottles right away so just be aware of that here I just knew I needed to grab the finish and then got out of that situation grabbed it and just go ahead and grab this note this one I was actually waiting it'll always float in one direction once you grab the spinach and just go in the direction that it is so you just got to kind of see where it's going and, and line it up there um, again up top grabbing notes hitting bottles more about timing hitting those bottles than anything else I mean the Pluto's really not too much of a concern in this game, in, in the NES version, and the arcade version, more so because he'll jump down, and he does like a double jump. This guy's kind of slow and dumb, so uh, it's a little bit easier than the versions for, for avoiding him. The hardest part here was the bottles for me and timing those correctly. The no-death achievements, those you know can be difficult, but like I said... Also, watch when he throws those bottles there to jump on the trampoline. You will get hit if you're jumping on the trampoline. There, I just grabbed that note, and I just, like, forgot that the bottle was going to be thrown at me super fast, so I got hit. Um, you can stick your toe out there and kind of grab that note, too, so you don't have to go jump down. You don't want to jump down if you don't have to. You can stay up top as much as possible. There, I had a nice little block from the uh, bottle. And so this is the wave... Basically, the second round of wave three. The thing that got me like through this was basically like I got to this wave and I thought the bottles were going to be flying at the same exact speed as the other two boards because they were coming so fast. So I was like, kind of like getting a little nervous here going to the third, this third board, being like, oh my God, these bottles are going to be coming at me super fast. And I have a small area to be in and I'm grabbing stuff right away that I thought I was going to get just destroyed but what happens when you get to this board the bottles actually fly at the original speed so there you can see i got my spinach eating pirate uh which is the 60k and my runtime was right about three hours and 38 minutes but that was i also just leave my a lot of times just leave the game on you go do other stuff like laundry or eat or whatever so i don't know how accurate that runtime is but um yeah you should have no problem getting this if you really kind of just work out a little bit like I said, four hours is not bad for runtime, um, and they were they were a lot of fun to get. I, I feel like this game was a lot of fun. Great set. Whoever made the set is just made the difficulty just the right amount. Um, a lot of times we get you know achievements and these retro achievements that are gone overboard or just ridiculous, um, especially those deathless ones. I hate those. Um, I also like high score achievements like this, where the last one's kind of like you're going for your highest score. 
So you can see I fell down there. There's no treadmill there. So grab these last couple ones. Um, I didn't end up passing this level just because uh, I had a bad, bad sequence here at the end. But uh, still, super fun. Had a great time with this game, and I hope you can get the mastery on this and that you enjoy it as much as I did. Um, or go see the 1980 movie with you know Robin Williams, and Kelly Long, and if you don't know who Popeye is, and at least watch that movie so you know who he is. But here I tried to go for this last one and I got greedy and I should have just waited. Um, and Bluto got me. But I hope you enjoy that little retro recap and you get your mastery and you enjoy playing Popeye. And I will see you in the next recap. Thanks for watching.